Sorry about not sending you a personal greetings. I was so busy, yes, and um, I just want to take this time out to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. I um, This morning I thought about doing that, but I said, you know what, let me wait until I get some pictures of the food. Now, the food, you see what was happening in Jamaica, right? And it's all because of you, because of you and, and your love offering to Holy Ghost Pentecostal Church of Jesus Christ. I was able to send the money down and get the team together. So I want to thank you all for your love offering. It doesn't matter how much it was, God continue to bless you. I pray God will continue to bless you tremendously. And they were so happy. I mean, it was like so quick, it was done, you know? Everybody was just happy to receive their meal and I just want to thank you. I so appreciate you. I want to thank Simone Tarp, my niece, my sister, Precious Hall, yes, and um, her husband, Mr. Pitter, both of them, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Pitter, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I also want to thank um, Sandy, her name, or was it Stacy Ann? That's a friend of Simone who went in. And um, Milton Freighter, um, reggae boy, yes. And um, Miss Pauline, thank you for helping. It was from Christmas Eve, they've been like working, working, my sister and her daughter and you know, even the kids, Danai and Sheldon, yes. Um, Sheldon was in Ochoa, she told my sister, Auntie, I love you, you know. I'm going to miss you, but I have to go up. <laughs> you know, so um, Danai, Shantavia, Shania, yes, yeah, Sheldon, God bless you all. And I pray that next year, 2021, will bring you joy, comfort, peace, hope. Why? Because I know my God. I've seen so many things that he has been doing for me. Sometimes, even today, he blew my mind. Yeah, and I know he's able to take us to that place of comfort. Yeah, that place where we don't have to worry anymore. That is going to be when we, we, we go, you know, to spend eternity with him. But right here on earth, he's able to. So I bless you again. I bless your, your family. I thank you again for making it possible for us to feed the, the less fortunate people this year. And I, I, I'm so excited. You know, I send pictures. I put pictures up today. And for the new year, just remember. Masoon alright, masoon alright, masoon alright, masoon alright. No money in our own, but masoon alright. We know me blessing it all come here, masoon alright. We'll be alright once we trust God. We continue to pray, no matter how it looks. It may look as if it's impossible. This bridge is so impossible to cross over. You know, there's so much traffic on this road. I'm so scared. You know, I am not gonna be able. There is angels assigned to you i believe that angels are assigned to me i know that whenever i'm going into anything that is not what god want me to go into he don't want me to get into that there is something to stop me now people of god i know a lot of you you know see me doing some things from me man, me no go up your man. You know, and because a lot of us were so righteous, we are so ipity. You know, like we are, you know, some Christians, they're just too sophisticated for me. Not that you shouldn't be like, you know, but I told someone just days ago when I record that song and the person was saying, you know, don't drop it. I'm like, why are we quoting like, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. <laughs> he give us the spirit of love, power, and persona. Now, if you know you have power, why would you be scared backing up each time the devil said, boo, you, you back in a corner. So if, if God give us this power, right, why are we not stepping on serpents and scorpions knowing that we have authority to speak to, you know, demons and devils, witches and warlocks? Yeah, why are we backing up in a corner? I'm not one to back up in a corner. And sometimes you, I tell somebody yesterday, I say, my calling is not your calling. The anointing that is on me, it, it may not be the same anointing you have. So missions that God will send me on, you won't be able to come on those missions because you were not called to come on these missions. You were not anointed to go on this mission. So you may not understand. Now, sometimes, yeah, 
You see, the devil, whatever he meant for bad concerning me at the end of this year, mm -mm. God is going to use it for his glory. And you're going to see everything manifest in January. I am backing up. I am working for the Lord. And I'm about to shock you, but I'm go. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this headline. Minister Hall returning to dance hall. How does that sound? <laughs> I know a lot of you worried now. A lot of you ready to judge and all that. I'm not returning to dance hall. But what the devil taught he was going to do to hurt me. I'm going to use that right there. Because God placed something in my spirit. God is about to create a walk. Oh God Almighty. I'm a part of that right there. I, you may think, oh, you hear... I've never been there. So why not let the devil know you ain't playing with me. You ain't running no games with me. You ain't going to put this one on me and have me laying down like I'm dead. I ain't dead. And the spirit in me is alive. So I'm going out to win some souls for Christ. Ah, you know, today I was in the word. Yes. And I was in 1 Corinthians 9. Yes. Verse 19 to 23. <laughs> Did you just get in your Bible and look what Paul said? Yeah? Look what Paul said. Because sometimes you don't, you, you don't have, you can be. All right. So there goes some people in this dance hall music, some young girls. And, you know, they, they never been introduced to God or, you know, the right way. They have never been, they have never experienced the Holy Ghost. Yes? They, they don't know about the anointing. They don't know about salvation, which is free. But the devil has been giving them so much. The devil has been pouring in into them. Pouring all kind of things, showing them these things of the world, that is it. This is it. This is joy. This is peace. This is, and then hell, when all hell come, tumbling down on these young sisters, they don't know how to handle it. Now, Minister Hall, I'm going to use... Some dance our gospel to get into some nooks and crannies. Yeah, devil, you bring it. Bring it, bring it. You thought you were going to have me backed up in a corner. Mm -mm. This means war. So, God had me locked away, yes, in a corner. Teach me the word all by himself. Didn't go to a school. He had me locked away and then he moved me from, and then he, and he said, it's time to preach. Now I'm preaching. Yeah, I'm preaching. Yeah. The devil don't like how I'm preaching. So what the devil did, he cook up something, cook up. Yeah. The witch and the warlock start storing up some poisonous gas to send over my way. Storing up, storing up wrong address. You come to the wrong address with that poisonous, de devilish, demonic gas. <laughs> you can't get it. You'll never get in here. So people of God, I don't want to start preaching. I came here to just wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and tell you that next year, I'm soon all right, I'm soon all right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I am just looking at what God is doing. Today I got confirmation. A woman of God called me from London. She leave a WhatsApp message she did. She said, woman of God, the Lord has laid this on my heart for you. What she said, I already knew. Because God already placed that in my spirit. You were not called to be locked in, you know, right here. In the middle of these four walls. I can't be locked in, in, in the middle of this. I can't be here. And when Jesus walked the hurt, what did he do? What did he do? He went among the sinners. Mm -hmm. Jesus told the scribes and the Pharisees this. He said, if you are, if you're well, if you're healthy, you got no sickness, you're whole, yeah? W-H-O-L-E. You don't need a physician, but meaning you in the church are you all righteous Christian, you're already saved. You, you, you know you're saved, right? Or you think you're saved. And instead of you spreading the gospel to People in, you know, some gunman down the road, some crackhead, some prostitutes, uh, some uneducated people. Yeah, you don't want to do that because you too stush, you too righteous. So you, and, oh, and you know, the Lord said, 
Oh, I'm not against proper English. But you have some people who you have to go to because guess what? You have to go to them hard because demons. Did you know about that? I've seen it. I did casting out and I realized that demons talk back. These demons talk back. If you're not clean and you're not living a righteous life, then demons can talk to you and you back up. But I ain't backing up because I know I'm living a righteous life. I'm living clean for God. Yes, I might have done some things. Yes. Oh, Lord Jesus, I already got forgiven for that. Yes, yes, I already repented. But I know I'm walking on the straight path of righteousness. I'm walking. My, my thing is, people think, oh, you have on some braids. Oh, Minister Hall, you shouldn't wear braids. Minister Hall, you shouldn't wear this. And Minister Hall, I'll wear whatever I like. Whatever I feel like wearing. If God didn't say take it off, I ain't take it off, taking it off to please you. So a lot of you won't understand my calling the greatest thing is this god gave me a ministry and i don't answer to anyone but god <laughs> you know why god know the spirit that he placed in me my god no god is a god of order mm -hmm. yes he's not the author of confusion but he has me in order already. So ain't no devil gonna put me in order. No devil gonna order me around and order me to shut my mouth and zip it. I ain't zipping this. You say, boo. Once the devil said boo, I said boo, ooh. Boo this scripture. Because I'm going to the word of God. Yeah, I was recording some nights ago, people of God, and, and people all over. And the, the, the lyric that came out of my mouth, it exceeds my expectation because I didn't know I had that in me. I know I can preach now and I know the word, yeah, yeah. But what was coming out, it was all on God. God was pushing that demon back to the pit of hell. The demon came back with a part two. Did you see that? So I just dropped two. Boom, boom. So look out. On the 1st of January, we have two Holy Ghost bomb for drop. We are down our hell. Boom! We're going to shake up hell, people. We're going to shake up hell. Don't come on this and try thief any money. Don't come on this and this is not a money day. So don't try coming out here and posting things. Oh, this person gave me $5,000. No. We're talking about witches and warlocks. We're talking about the demonic forces, the dark forces. And I ain't going to allow any, anything that is not of God. To talk down to me or lie about me or try to smear my, my name, what, whether the whole or the new. Amen? So, Minister Hall, returning to dance hall, I know that many of my Christian brothers and sisters, a lot of you have been lukewarm. Oh, Lord. I'm not the one who said it, but I know this pandemic gets a lot of you. It's like you're frozen. It's time to, it's time to go into, listen, who has the key to hell? If I have to pay the devil a visit down there, then that's where I'm going for the glory of God. Now, what did I just say? If I have to pay the devil a visit down there, yeah, for the glory of God, then I'm going. If God say go down there, you go. You remember what Paul said? He went up in the third heaven, yeah? He said that... There was a thorn that was given to him in his flesh. The devil, you know, the devil buffeted him. The devil did something to him. He didn't even explain it. You know, and he said, I've seen things and heard things that it, I, I can't even speak about. Yeah? Well, sometimes uh, we need to go into some places to be revitalized. Because some of you, you got this anointing and you're just cool. That's why the devil can box you and box you and box. Mm. Mm. When I turn the other side, darling, it's the word of God that is coming your way. Jesus himself spoke to the devil when he was fasting for 40 days, 40 nights. When the devil came, Jesus didn't run, did he run? He did not back up. The devil had was to back up. You Christians need not to talk to me and tell me, don't do that, minister old. Don't just go talk to yourself. You're not God. I listen to God. I know what God is saying to me. And if 
you are, if you keep being fearful, the devil will walk over you. I am more powerful than I was before. I am a mighty, mighty warrior. I am a powerful vessel, a powerful woman of God. And the devil knows that is why he's doing all these things. But he know me. <laughs> so, listen out on the 1st of January, two Holy Ghost bomb, boom, straight down our hell. Hell gonna boil over now. And then after that, I'm coming in. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. So we gonna do some dance all and stay right here so. And get some souls for God. Sometimes you have to adapt to what they are using to, the devil to win souls for the kingdom of darkness. You ain't going to be like them. You ain't going to say nothing lewd, nothing nasty. You use the word of God, yeah? And you go in and take them out, yeah? The devil thought he was going to take me out of church. No, darling, I'm taking the church to your people. If the devil people, they're in church too. But I'm already in the church. So, but I'm taking the word of God where I was before. Amen? That is, oh Jesus, the devil taught. <laughs> you see, what you meant for bad, God is now using it for his good. His, yeah, for his own glory. Amen, somebody? So, I'm telling you right now. We have the fire of God and that is our weapon. That is our weapon. Don't you back up. I told people when Saul was hunting David and David ran. David didn't run because he was afraid. David did not run because he was fearful of Saul. Mm -mm. David was slewing thousands in the, when the enemy came at them. Oh Jesus. He was just doing a little one thousand when David was David, listen, David was not scared of Saul. David ran because David said, there is an anointing that is on him and I won't touch, I won't touch God anointing. I won't touch God anointing one. Amen, somebody? And that is why David ran. When David ran from his son Absalom, he didn't want to kill his firstborn. He didn't want to kill his seed. That is why, do you think David with all that anointing would be running? Listen, everything else that rose up against David. David went to God and said, should I go up? Or should I go down and meet those Philistines? <laughs> Once God said, go up, I'm with you. Then David went up and slew everything. Mighty warriors. We have a God who is mighty, mighty. He's the top of, he's the mightiest, mightiest, mightiest of all. But we also have that authority. He said there is death and life in the power of our tongue. Why aren't, why aren't we using it? When the Bible said, you must resist the devil and he will flee from you. How do you resist the devil? Do you run from the devil? When the devil speaks lies against you, do you shut your mouth and back up? What did Jesus do? What did Jesus do when the devil come, come to him? Did he, did he flee? How did, how, did, how did it happen? The word of God. Mm -mm, they shouldn't come and test me now. Oh, dance all, look out for me. Mm -hmm. Dance all, look out for me. Look out for me. Welcome the evangelists of dance all. Hey, hey! Now, listen to this now. Minister Hall returning to dance all. But guess what? She don't want any part of being any queen or dancer. It has nothing to... Ah, ah. When you listen to the lyrics, me dash with the crown, me no want be no queen. Leave me alone, I'll come off and me scream. <laughs> I'll up on my life like you want to be seen. Take a block you're too unclean. You know me as the blocker, right? <laughs> well, I ain't blocking nobody this time around. You know what? God was doing a new thing with me and I didn't even realize. 
Girl, I'm souping you up. I'm putting on some nice rims on you. Some Holy Ghost hydraulics. Yeah, because I know the enemy going to come. But you're going to be so souped up. You're going to have on the old armor, girl. So, mm -hmm, we need to go to the highways and the byways. We, we, we weren't going into the highways and the byways. Why did Jesus not go in the church? You, you, Jesus went in the church. Listen when he went in. I said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because I was anointed. To... All right, listen this now. He went and he beat some people out of the church, selling stuff in the church. But most of the time, what Jesus did, he walked among the Gentiles, the sinners. I did not come to call the righteous. I come to call sinners unto repentance. So why are we not going out there again? Oh, mm, okay. So what I'm going to preach on, I already preached most of it, <laughs> Sunday is 1 Corinthians 9, verse 19 to 23. Look at it. Sometimes you have to adopt. You don't adopt the things of the world. You don't adopt their principles. Yes, but, oh, you, you remember when Paul said, you know, you eat what you eat, it's like that. They'll put the meat in front of you. And the way they, they, they deal with it, the law at the time, the law of Moses, Say, you as a Christian, you can't eat that. But you know something? <laughs> Some of us, we need to remember, bless it and eat it. The Lord said, whatever they set before you, bless it and eat it. Just sit down and you, you just start preaching the word of God. That's how you get, yeah, preaching the word of God. Hmm? You go in there, go into the marketplace. They tell you, oh, you shouldn't be all open social media. media. You know, if, if some of us did listen, would anybody be paying us any mind now? I know I wasn't doing live and so when I was Lady Saul, but you know. Anyway, people of God, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. If you have your Holy Ghost fire, you know you have the mighty weapon, right? Don't back up from anybody. Don't back up from any, anything that is not of God. Don't back up. Use it for the glory of God. Yes? So I'm going in to win. I think that's going to be my sermon on Sunday. I'm going in to win. I'm not going in to wear, you know, them little piece of B-Rider and them, you know, I say, oh, no, I'm not going in to do stripper videos. I'm not going in to, yeah, but if I have to go on a stage, if I have to go to Sting, to stand up on, oh, Vegas, say get where you want. You always say me for come back in a dance hall, don't it? I'm not actually coming back into dance hall. I'm going to use some dance hall gospel. Mm -hmm, a whole lot of them too. And I'm still going to Nashville to do the other genre, yeah, but... I will slap some dance hall gospel in the name of Jesus. Hey! My God, you know how the devil walk into and fro in this earth? Trying to win souls. Yeah? Pull them to hell. Well, I'm going to pull them back. I bless you. I love you. I thank you for your love offering. I thank you for being a part of this ministry. Whether you're with us. Or you're against us, we're going to still preach to you. <laughs> Amen, somebody? So, God bless you. And just know, we soon all right. We soon all right. Somebody said, she don't have no money. She broke. She renting out our house. Yes, I rent a Christian lady. Two rooms and our daughter. Yeah? Now, when did renting a house become a crime? You can't do anything to please people. Didn't house, when you build all a 10 bedroom house and you stuck with it, like it's just there, you stay there and don't rent it and see who going to pay your bills. Yeah? See who? I love you too, Sister Vicky. Sister Jackie, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Helena. Yes. Sister Nikki. Yes. Um, Sister Sasha Miller. Yes. Sister Shirley, love me. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Sister Debbie, love you. Sister Claude and Linda. Yes, Sister Yanni, God bless you. Latoya, God bless and keep you. Rashida, good evening. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Petal V. Scott, Merry Christmas. Whether you're on my side, not on my side, Jesus is on my side.
my side and I'm on Jesus' side. We're not looking friends. We're looking soul for Christ. Amen, somebody. So we're going for it. I said, make way for Minister Hall. No longer the queen of dance hall. But I'm coming into the dance hall to bring souls to the church hall. Where is Papa Sam? Where is Mr. Stitchy? Oh, oh Lord, pastors, where are you? We need to get back on, on fire. Yeah? Since you want me to get on fire. Well, there go. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I'm ready. I woke up a couple mornings ago and I'm like, oh, I feel like this. I feel so. God, what are you doing? Mm. Oh, God. It's about to go down. Boom! Holy Ghost. Boom. Dropping. I love you too. Sister Angeline, good good evening. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Don't you dare back up. Go in. Go to the highways and the byways. Just like Jesus. You see, that where, when Jesus was walking with the fishermen and he's always, you know, on the beach. You know why? People go on the beach to hustle. Yeah. Did you know about mermaid spirit and them something? They snake and bear and reptile and all kind of demons. You know? God went out there for the souls that were out there. Yeah? Some will come to the church, but some won't come. When, I, when the Lord sent me down to Carnation Market, people got their Holy Ghost right there, right there at the back of the market. God was sending me there for years, and I didn't go. And I went back. I don't know if I went back to Jamaica. He sent me back. I think he sent me back. And then he sent me back right there. So you might not understand what I'm saying, but we used to, all right, somebody said, she, 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 she a benefit meaning, she's benefiting off this Obiaman thing. Lord Jesus, look from when the Obiaman benefiting off of me. <laughs> look from when the devil has been benefiting off us. And look how long the devil had me out there with just put a blindfold over my eyes. Somebody, somebody, all right, somebody, um, oh, Ladalia C. You're up. Bless the name of the Lord, Sister Ladalia. You're such a blessing to this ministry. Pastor Hall, I just say hello and bless him up. Him say, I'm just done cook him, cook work where I'm go beach and all kind of things. Yes, and yes, minister, there's another minister, Delroy S. Coffrey. He's a minister of the word because he's studying very hard. Yes, so a lot of you won't understand. But the devil has been using us long enough. Why not step in his territory, in territory? He might have territory, but he not have it enough. It's ours. We need to take it back. We need to take it back. Why are we not taking it back? Why? We quote in scriptures how we're powerful and we're not doing anything. Well, devil, why? You just come and knock on the wrong door. Welcome me. <laughs> I have some missile, Holy Ghost missile. When I drop them, the word of God, my God, will penetrate. Because you're not sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes? So, I bless you. Look out. First of January. Masoon, all right, Masoon, it's coming. Yeah? Look out, 1st of January. <laughs> From me back, you know, go, oh yes. That's it. And we coming through. You know, my friend, Rob on, he asked me to do a song with Lady Flames. You know that lady, that song. God answers prayer. I just want you to listen for a song called God, you're good, God, you're good, God, you're good. Ooh, my God. I know it's going to run away over there in Africa and here and all over. It's so powerful. That's a collab that I've done with her. She is such an anointing woman of God. And look out for that one coming. That one was done before these two. And it's another, yeah, you have to move. So if we, you, you see, oh, oh, the devil have certain music that grab people. We're going in there to use that same music and put the word of God on those beats so it can go pierce the ears and the heart. So people can, if, if they never know about God, 
we are the one that's gonna bring it in there so you can stop calling me now and say oh you need to dance i'll miss you i'm back but not in there but if i have to go in there because i would love to go in there to lay hands yes i'd love to minister in there when everything is you know when god settle everything i would love to go in to minister on sting yes i want to be on the night of dance hall on sound fest yes i want to go on all the major concerts too stand up and declare that jesus is lord because i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ mm -mm, i am not i know i know that is the power of god unto salvation to them that believe yes so we got to get believers who are non-believers to yet we want non-believers to be believers of christ and we're able to do it so i'm looking for all the the, the gospel artists who does that type of music it's time it's time to get in there as soldiers god army need to go trample trample on the devil amen yes the lord did send them two by two yeah amen yes and still have the room in my house yeah so see you on sunday i haven't wrote out um i haven't written the um sermon yet but i know where it's coming from and just know it's time for us to take over take authority yeah stand and proclaim and declare that we have authority to step upon them serpents amen so we're gonna set some demons ablaze amen and win some souls that are lost a lot of things i don't talk about but i see some things in there yeah so god bless you sister camellia and again thank you for the love offering people them enjoy them food my sister and my, my niece them so tired right now they, they're but it is a blessing so thank you all simone tarp i thank you nurse tarp i thank you precious peter and billy yes um i thank you too um thank the, the other lady um stacy and i think her name is and um mr milton Frito, along with reggae boy and the others who came through today god bless you cut and clear can't call all of your name now but i'm going for dinner love you